Hey, all you Wookiee warriors, how's it going? Sorry for the poor lighting. Um, oh, there we go. It got a little brighter. Um, I thought I'd make this video quick. Um, just kind of touching up a little bit of kind of what I said. This is still going to be a Wookiee's log, um, captain's log. Um, uh, I just um, haven't looked at the the start date. You guys will see it in the, the description in the title. <laughs> um, but there's a few things I wanted to talk about because um, I'm actually pretty passionate about this. I'm, this is still a gaming channel. This is not a fitness channel. This is not a food channel. But this is something I'm really um, really passionate about. I want to kind of spread the word to you guys, especially those who are maybe struggling with um, weight loss. Uh, diabetes and maybe had to learn maybe just like me we probably didn't know any better um, first first things first uh, kind of like I want to touch bases a little bit more about what I said in the video the key to this is just make sure that you want to do this I mean I, I can't imagine anyone who want doesn't want to lose weight or doesn't want to get reverse their diabetes again I, would, I, I, I said it in the video I highly recommend watching videos and research that's what helped me a lot um, and as I kind of told my doctor today I had two options really when and I said it in the video too I think is metaphorically speaking I had a knife in my gut I could leave it there I could like okay I'll, I'll stay overweight I can um, I'll just keep doing what I was doing before staying unhealthy take my meds and probably have a lot of health issues when down the road I decided nope I don't want this here anymore took the knife out, did the work, metaphorically speaking, I took the knife out, did all the work I needed to do, and I'm healthier, happier. I still have a long way to go to, before I'm, I've reached my full goal, um, but a few things um, I wanted to touch base on. My diet consisted of more proteins than anything else. I still had my vegetables. Um, I had broccoli, I had Brussels sprouts, and uh, green beans. Um, and I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about at, with, um, with my, what I'm talking about for my bowls. So this. This is the small balls I was talking about in the video. This is pretty much the sum of like if I was gonna have like something crunchy or like this is this is like why I used to put my pork rinds in. Yes, I had pork rinds. So no, I did not I should correct myself. I did not just have eggs and meat all the time. But um that was the majority of what I would eat is eggs, hamburger meat, or eggs and bacon. I did not eat any bread. I did not have any um, I gave up milk which I'm gonna start trying to reintroduce that in, reintroduce that into my diet. Um, I didn't even do cheat days until recently um, and I did a lot of thinking on like my nutrition and what I needed to eat so now I actually have more of a balanced diet and I'm very very adamant about trying to make sure I have my portions correctly um, and I, I still walk over an hour a day um, now that's something um, now there's definitely books out there for keto. You always do not have to do it how I did it. 
I did it eggs and meat because then I didn't have to calculate so much. Uh, one of the other things I did, and I'll show you guys this in my kitchen. I'm in the process of organizing my kitchen. So if you look at this bowl, this was what mostly what I put my eggs and meats in. Um, so the meat would actually just fill about like right there. That's how much meat I'd put in. So this spoon, this is what I'm talking about for a spoonful. Three spoonfuls of this. And that was my, that was it. That's all I put in that meat in that bowl. And then I would have three eggs on top of that. And all the meat I, I would cook the previous day or morning, and I'd put it in the fridge. And I'd microwave it for two minutes and it's ready to go. Um, I'd mix it pre, I'd mix it in after I've done cooking the eggs. And then I don't have any Taco Bell sauce at the moment, but I would mix like half because I, I, I did experimentation I'd pour a little bit in I didn't get a lot of flavor so I ended up pouring like almost half the bottle or close to it um, to get the flavor I like having flavor in my eggs now you can easily put like salt and pepper in if you still wanted um, and there's plenty my uncle um, which I'm going to definitely be experimenting with. My uncle gave me keto, uh, not gave me, but he loaned me um, a keto recipe book. We have a ton of keto recipes, but the thing is, like, we've been kind of having to live on a budget. We have to live on a budget. So, I mean, eggs, I can get like 60 eggs for six bucks. The only thing that was really expensive was hamburger meat. But that was about it. And one of the other things I did was I removed everything. Bread. Like when I first started, I still had some loaves of bread. And I'm like, okay, no more bread after this. And I got rid of... I didn't buy any more bread after that. Um, I pretty much started also fasting. Uh, I started initially fasting for shorter periods of time. I was still eating like three meals a day. Like I would eat something before work. Now I don't, because I, I found myself falling into the trap of eating while I was at work. And I was ruining my fast. So what I was doing, what I did was I stopped taking stuff to work. No food. I would not eat until I got home. And I would actually get really, really, really hungry at three so i would have like a bowl a small bowl of hamburger meat which is about this big this is as big as my the bowl would get for my hamburger meat um and then probably with a side of vegetables and i my 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 trainer actually laughed me at me a little bit not at me but he kind of laughed is I told him I would have pork rinds for dessert. And he would laugh because I called it dessert or I called it a treat because I liked having something crunchy when I got home. So I would eat pork rinds because pork rinds is something I could have on keto. Um, but I, I would not eat pork rinds repeatedly. Like I would probably have it like once a month give or take um but it wasn't and i didn't make mistakes like i would one of the biggest things i had uh first started with and when my i figured it out my uncle told me about it is that it was the rich crackers i'm like oh i can have rich crackers no i can't because the cravings were coming so strong and so addicting so i end up getting Stop eating the rich crackers. Um, then I would. Then I had banana cake, which I probably shouldn't have had, but I'm like, I. My grandma used to make um, banana cake, really good banana cake, and I started thinking about it. I had I. 
I had a weakness and I fell off the keto because of it. Um, so it, it took, I think I fell off three, two or three times off keto because I made mistakes. Um, now, does it mean I cut out fruit? No, it's just certain fruits I was not allowed to have for a while. Um, like I cut out strawberries, I cut out bananas, apples, all that. Um, so I was mostly, mostly supplementing my nutrients with green vegetables. Um, now I'm actually trying to add some fruits to my breakfast, which usually is eggs, meat, like uh, bacon or hamburger meat still um, with a green vegetable and then I try having some oatmeal because now I'm trying to keep a caloric a certain caloric intake and that was something I was not doing when I was on my diet my fat burning diet is I was not doing a high caloric intake um, because you have to burn off more calorie you have to burn more fat than you are burning um, calories so or you should have less calories in your body if you want to keep building fat um another thing i i'm still struggling with is sleep uh make sure you guys are constantly getting a good sleep um the reason my sleep is always off is and one of the reasons i'm always late is my sleep schedule has just been erratic um because of working third shift the world doesn't work around third shift so when I have a doctor's appointment or I have something in the store to do, I have to get up extra early. I've been sleeping until like five o'clock in the evening for me some, most days because um, I just can't get to sleep. Uh, or when I do get to sleep, I, 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 I adjust my, my, my alarm clock so I know that I'm gonna have like a good few hours to fall asleep. Um, but then I started knowing that I needed to have a reward system. And if you think back to when you were younger, you had a reward system. You did good on a test, you get to go to your favorite restaurant. Or you did good on a test, you get a cool toy. You know, there was always some kind of reward for you. So when I reached my goal, I knew that I needed a reward. So I started really bringing in treats. But I was smart about it. I'm like, what can I do? If I, I know that if I see them, I'm going to eat them. What can I do to mitigate that? I hid them out of my sight. I knew where they were, but I didn't see them. Um, which is, I'm actually going to flip the camera around in just a minute to show you guys. Because my right now my room is a little bit of a mess, uh, pigsty. I need to get, I need to get through and. Um, clean that up so this is just my closet so here's my tro here's my tr my tr uh, my tree trove I bought myself some cupcakes uh, monolins uh, some chocolate chip cookies and nutty buddies some donuts and Reese's peanut butter cups um, I already went through the Doritos I had in there. Um, um, I also bought myself some popcorn, which is up there. Um, I usually have like one bag of that on Fridays. So I guess you can say I have. Uh, um, but I don't have anything sweet until Saturday. And I've been thinking about people in general. And when pe when you think dessert, you don't think, oh, I'll have that with my breakfast. I'll have that with my, my, my afternoon meal. No, when you think dessert, you think sitting down at the dining table, eating ice cream, watching TV. That is bad idea, bad. So what I do, because I know I always, I'm always i going to keep on going for my big long walk, which is a 56 minute walk. Um, 
which I might actually do a, uh, like a walking video so I can show you guys my route every day. Um, which I haven't done a walking vlog in a while. Um, but I have my my treat, my snack. Uh, during my my second meal today because I know I'm gonna walk for a long period of time because and I'm gonna be burning those that fuel I'm gonna be using that energy that I just ate when I'm eat when I'm walking especially for a 56 minute walk and no I didn't start having a 56 minute walk I I worked up to it I was I started walking for like the first few months I was walking for 18 minutes. Towards the last, like the third month, I started walking, started incorporating more roots. Like, okay, let me do the, let me do the cemetery. Okay, that adds another 10, 15 minutes to my walk. Okay, this is getting kind of easy. What can I do? Okay, I'm gonna go here. This is getting easy. I went further, and then I started going further and further, and now I'm walking 56 minutes. And one of the things is, um, and I quote Arnold Schwarzenegger, he said, he's talked about shocking your system. And kind of elaborating on that is when your body, you, not do, you don't do something, your body's not used to it. So your body, when you, like, let's say you do that, do, did a 18 minute walk, and your legs just like, hurt You're like oh my god what did you just do to me your body hasn't been through that either a lo very long time or is not used to doing something like that um so you're gonna feel you're gonna feel the pain you know the whole you know the old saying no pain no gain well this is a good pain because your body is going to start breaking stuff down and rebuilding it's like okay we need to get prepped for the next one so then that's when the start walks start getting easier because you're like okay we need it we're, we're good and then you're like oh and then you go further and your body's like what I'm like yeah you don't know i'm doing you don't know that i'm gonna go hot further so your body has to make more adjustments same thing with uh what he was talking about was bodybuilding is like he like if you're doing 40 uh, let's say 40 40 pounds, three sets of 10. If I phrase that wrong, I apologize. I'm still getting used to the whole bodybuilding aspect. Um, that, um, if you're doing that for X amount of time, and your body's like, oh, this is easy. Okay, no problem. And then you pump it up to 50. And you're like, what? And then after the 50, you pop it down, back down to 40. That's what he's talking about for shocking your system. Thing is about walking though, you can't really do like, the only way you can probably shock your system is like walking up a, a steep uh, hill and then walk for a few days and then walking in something flat and then doing that again. Um, and in briefly, in brief, I wanna also talk about um, Ozempic. Because I've had, um, I think it was on Facebook, I responded to a post somebody made, and he asked me a question about Ozempic. And I can know, I know there's videos out there, this is, uh, Ozempic is one of the new newer medications out there now. Um, I do want to put some my, my personal experiences with it. Um, at first, um, When I started taking it, I really didn't like taking it because I had to do an injection and I didn't like the way it looked. Um, even, like it made me feel bad, um, but I knew this is something I needed at the time. Um, so I kind of just did it. You know, I just kind of put my big boy brushes on and just took care of business. Um, and it really did help but I would not recommend staying on this for long periods of time. Just do what you need to do. Don't just take it. This is not, 
this is not this is a quick oh uh i'm gonna take this and i'll lose all the weight and no you gotta do the work no matter what you what what supplement you take no matter if you're prescribed ozempic no matter if you're i think the the other one they have is when govi or you prescribe something else do the work don't just rely on supplements or medication to get you where you need to go um, it's also a mindset you know do what you need to do and that's why I, I, and I keep on driving the home the point across is I had a mindset I didn't want to be on this stuff anymore I didn't want to have this this physique I've always I never wanted to be fat I I got that way but I kind of I, I kind of admitted surrender. This time I'm like, nope, I ain't surrendering this time. And I did the work. Um, I also felt stomach pain. It's like right around like my abdomen, like right here is where I had a lot of stomach pain. Um, I didn't know if it was from Ozempic or keto like when I got off it, but um, after researching it a little bit more, I think it was probably the Ozempic. Um, I also had like, I'm just gonna phrase it this way. I had the gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now syndrome. <laughs> you guys, will, if you guys have watched the commercials, you know what I'm talking about. So don't ask me to please phrase, don't ask me to phrase it. Um, so keep that in mind as well. It does curb your appetite. So if you take in a supplement like ACE, which is a dietary supplement which curbs your appetite, also helps boost energy. And my 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 cousin was on it. Uh, he lost a lot of weight. Um, so it's very important to keep yourself with a routine. Um, you don't need to take it before you eat. I usually took it after I had something to eat. Um, but I was told that you didn't, I didn't need to, um, another, um, important thing is you also will have a loss of appetite. Um, so you'll have the less of a need to eat, feel like you don't need to eat, eat. That's the number one important thing is to make sure you eat. No matter if you feel like you don't want to eat. Just be careful not to overeat, but just eat something. Try to keep that habit in your head. Like, okay, it's 5 o'clock in the morning or whenever you wake up. Okay, I got to eat breakfast. Stay in that routine. It's like, okay, it's lunchtime. I got to go eat. Um... Now, the reason I always had meat is because meat is very satiating, very... And it's funny, my sister never heard that phrase before. Um, very satiating, very fulfilling. Um, I say full for longer, so that's why I had meat and eggs. And I still get full from meat and eggs. Um, or any kind of meat. So, you, there's some boundaries you can go with it. I would stay with leaner meats, which is chicken and hamburger. And you always go for the lean hamburger meat. Don't go for chuck. Um, now you can also eat fish. Um, fish is good for you. It has good amino acids. Uh, a lot of other nutrients. Um, chicken is also a very good one. Good one. It has a lot of good nutrients as well. Um, it's also very filling. But I would also probably eat it in smaller portions. Just like I do with the hamburger meat. Because too much is bad for you. Um, my sister, um, she has like these little sticks. She says she couldn't, she didn't want to eat the way I did, which was, she tried it, but she just couldn't do it. So she has like these little tiny steaks. Um, so as long as you have some kind of meat, you should, it will be very satiating for you. But I, like I said, I prefer, I personally would recommend the leaner meats. Um, trying to think what else. 
also your cravings will go away for a time. So when I say for a time, like I'll get to that in a minute, but the cravings will go away. Another thing is your digestion will be um, slowed. Um, Merlin. Um, so what does that mean is that you stay full longer than you should. The food stays in your body longer than you should. Th than it should. Um, so eating smaller meals is probably beneficial, but try it. But when you get off Ozempic, here's what's going to happen. I got, um, because during my last day of on an Ozempic, and this is how I messed up my back, is I, I'm to the firm belief that it was my glucose, although I couldn't test my glucose level because I didn't have, um, by the time I woke up, the, the, it was already over. And my mindset wasn't to check in my glucose at the time because I was in severe pain. Um, but I was, I'm pretty sure it was, I like to stay, I wouldn't say pretty sure, but I would like to say it was my glucose at the time because Ozempic lowers your glucose. It's one of the things it does. Um, I could possibly have been fatigued because I had my medications at the time on, uh, in my system. Um... But um, I was feeling for the last two weeks, two, week or two, yeah, uh, before I stopped it, I was feeling really bad. Like, I was fatigued constantly. Like, I was tired. I didn't have my energy boost anymore. Because um, you're going to feel great at first. You're going to have that energy but for me, like, I didn't have that energy. I just started feeling really, really, really bad. Um, like, I was in a slog because I was cutting out so much of my caloric intake. So I didn't have the energy stores I used to have, I would have normally had. Um, so... My diet, I may have, pro I've done probably things probably wrong. Um, but that's kind of why I want to share these videos. Because your diet might be um, better and healthier. Um, I'm not saying like what I ate was com 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 technically bad. But I could probably have done from eating some, something that would probably have gotten me some energy. Um, also I would drink tea. Um, I drank a lot of like Earl Grey tea. I couldn't stand the taste of green tea. Um, but then when you, when I, cause the day I, I, I hit, you guys saw it, like I hit 179.6. Um, I took, I stopped taking it that day and the next day I felt great. Like I felt like I had a massive amount of energy. I could, I could walk all of the whole, my whole city that I live in right now. I could, that's how much energy I felt like I had. Um, next thing you will have, and I did mention this early in the video, you're going to have, um, cravings again like I had major cases of munchies when I got off of Zempic now my body's kind of kind of mellowed out now it's like oh, oh my bad too much so it, it was felt like I hadn't eaten in like months that's how hungry I was I was just eating 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 like I now like I was even having like I was having pretzels. I was like, oh, just more food. So now that my body's kind of balancing out, I am balancing out 184.6. Um, now I think I'll probably be able to do um, my fasting again. 
Um, and like I said, I have adopted more of a healthier, balanced diet. Um, because, and also, it's not like I'm getting rid of keto. Um, definitely going to stay with the keto and a lot of the stuff that keto taught me. Uh, especially as far as nutritional value, but I also want to have a balanced, um, energetic diet. Um, so I, so my mornings, tip, like I said, typically for me now are, I have a bowl of oatmeal, usually one or two packets. Um, usually cut up some fruit, strawberries. I just had actually, um, peanut butter. I had a peanut butter with my, um, oatmeal today to give me that little bit of energy. And then, um... I had, um, uh, I think it's called a cheddar worst, which is like a hot dog with cheddar in it. Um, not really my forte, but it's meat. And then I had, we, I found some uh, turkey slices, so I had some turkey slices, uh, turkey slice meat. Um, but typically I would have eggs for my second meal, eggs, bacon, or hamburger with it um i've also started reintroducing bread but i actually um am a little different when it comes to breads now especially now that i know what all goes in them so um a little lighter on my breads um i actually picked up this which is uh it's called keto friendly bread and let me guys tell you this there is no such thing as a keto-friendly bread. Um, the reason I picked this up is because it actually has only 35 calories. Um, Twelve grams of carbohydrates, one gram of sugar. Well, I, I guess you could, but I mean, you could have this on a keto diet. Um, cause what you want is like on a keto diet, I believe it's like, you can't have more than like 50 total, um, grams of carbs, and, but you can't just say 50 grams of carbs cause it's also sugars. So, um, Then you have to add up how many slices. So I actually had two slices of bread for toast. It's actually kind of, it was kind of, it wasn't too bad, but it's not like, like when I tried, when I cut it, it was just like cutting, how can I, how can I put this? It was like, um, it's not cutting cardboard, but it was like stiff. That's, that's a good word. It was kind of stiff when I cut it. Um, you don't get me wrong. I still like my, I still love the butternut, but, um, I'm a little bit more selective when it comes to my meat, to my food now, uh, especially now that I know so much about foods and especially with, um, the food manufacturers and all that, I'm kind of just more selective. I mean, do I still have fast food? Yes. Do I um, have it frequently? No. Um, because Everything about fast food is to get you a response like, oh, I want my next fix. So I try to have, if I'm going to have fast food, I have it once in a blue moon. Um, but really, guys, like I said, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about um, what I said on my first, my last week's video, um, this actually might be a little bit the last time I talk about this, um, unless you guys want me to talk about like what, what I feel the food corporations need to, should be counted, how, um, my, my point of view on the food corporations, 
Um, I can definitely do that if you guys want me to share my opinion on it. Um, otherwise, um, I might probably just start trying to get back to some gaming content. Um, I've been playing a lot of Zelda. I know I've been meaning to do um, a Zelda video. Um, the one thing is I'm kind of... I have like one hand tied behind my back at the moment because I have only one monitor on my computer because we had a pretty nasty storm. Like I'm surprised no, more of my systems got screwed up. Um, because my one monitor just won't... Not, it won't work. It won't turn on. Um, and that's a pretty new monitor. Like I, it's not, it's not that old. Uh, so it's complete. That one's completely fried. I have to go get a new one. Um, so I've just been kind of limited on one screen. So that's one of the reasons I haven't done much online, like computer streaming. Um, and. I still have to go and test out the test out Oni Musha, make sure the game disc works. So I've been checking some of my old PS2 games, and it looks like uh, like God of War. I was like, oh, I'm gonna play the original God of War for you guys. The problem is the original God of Wars don't work anymore. So I want to make sure that Oni Musha 2, 3, and Dawn of Dreams definitely work before I go and do videos. Um, and I have to set up the I have to set up the camera and hopefully Merlin doesn't knock my camera over when I'm recording because uh, that's the challenge is having the dog not hit the camera. <laughs> um, otherwise, um, I'll figure something out gaming wise. Um, because I know that right now we're doing Valhalla. And I know this is not... This, towards the end of this video is not going to be anything about weight loss or fitness. Which I, I wouldn't even say anything about fitness because I know nothing about... I know next to nothing about fitness. I just look at YouTube videos and I just try to ask as many questions as I can. Um... Um, I definitely have video games I could probably turn into some videos. Um, I'll try maybe, I'll maybe pop some of those out. Um, I know there's a request for Elden Ring, but here's the thing. I only played it through it once. I would have to play it. That would probably be like months of me just playing it over and over and over and over and over again. That'd, that'd be the only game I play. Um... So that will be a project that I'll get to in a later date. Um, I also want to say, in, uh, towards the, at, at the end of this video, um, I know my schedule's been at rough. Uh, we have had some scheduling rough spots before. Uh, but this will definitely start ironing out more um, once I've hit my fitness goals. And once I've hit, um, once I get a new job, because I will be getting, I am working on getting a new job, which will be second shift. Um, and that one will probably still be temporary until I can get into plumbing, because I still plan on going into plumbing. But, um... Um, I think my schedule will iron out again once I my my goal is to get um, I keep on saying shredded but my goal is to get muscular ripped whatever you guys want to call it shredded whatever um, before next friend fair but I might it might take me a year it might take me two years to get where I need to be um only thing I can um say is that if I am making I am forwarding that goal. Also guys, this goes out to all of you. Um uh, I wanted to say thank you to a lot of you guys. 
Um, you guys, some of you guys have reached out to me privately and encouraged me. I want to say thank you to all of you for the, the all the support. It really does mean a lot. Um, and I hope all these video these videos that I've been posting um, serves as maybe some information and helps you guys if you guys are looking to cure diabetes. If you guys are looking. Again, if you guys are looking to cure diabetes, please do your guys' research. Don't just rely on my video. I constantly say, hey, go check out this guy. Go check this out. Go check out Kim Berry. Go check out Dr. Eckelberg. Go check those guys out. They can, help, they can help you understand what diabetes is. They can help you reverse it and get rid of it. Um... That's how I got rid of it. That's how I learned how to do it. Um, if you guys are just looking to lose weight, um, hopefully maybe my my fitness journey has been able to help you guys out. Some of the information has been able to help you guys out. Um, again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Um, and... I guess all I can ask is you guys can continue to be patient with me as I go through this journey. Um, and I hope I'm able to make um, make some content for you guys to uh, reward you guys' patience. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys are all having a wookie task good day. And I'll see you guys on our next adventure. Till next time. See ya.